Hey guys, today I wanted to show you some of the best ways to get Masetta and PSO2 NGS, as it has been a few months since I last talked about this. Before we get into it though, I did want to mention for the first few methods that it won't require the personal shop or the player market, but for the later methods it will, either by having premium or if you're a free to play player, you can actually get a three day pass and the mission pass at tier 24. And it's on the free track too, so you don't need to spend any star gems or anything like that, it's free to use. But to get these tiers, you need to do dailies and our first way of making Masetta, and that is actually doing your weeklies. So the weeklies are reset on the weekly maintenance every week on like Tuesday slash Wednesday. And you can find them in your task menu under the weekly tab. Right here, I don't have any since I completed them all, but we can check that out. And as you can see here, we have a ton of quests. Uh, this can get you upwards of 800,000 Masetta if you complete all of them. And they kind of vary in terms of like, how long they'll take. Some of these are just killing enemies up to 1,000, and then others are like clearing specific quests or doing certain things. There are a couple on the bottom here, like completing a Liam A side task, but they only give experience and don't give Masetta. Uh, for these as well, these might vary a little bit in terms of where you're at in the story, so they could give a little bit less Masetta or more uh, compared to other people. But all these should be easy or essentially automatic as long as you just play the game. Onto the second method though, we have cashable items. So these items have a sole purpose of just being converted to Masetta. An example here is Alpha Reactors. So if I sell this here, it'll just convert it to a good lump of cash as long as I get more and more of these. But these can be collected across the map in the four different regions, and they have different uh, ones. So in Alia, there are those Alpha Reactors, and they are found in three different spots in the Central Alio Zone. The first one being kind of in between the Wrestle Forest and North Alio on this ridge, uh, kind of above the river. The second spot being next to one of the first Ryukar devices, the Halfana Plains West, leading up into the mountain. Then for the third spot, it is at this entranceway leading into South Alio from Central Alio itself. And then each of these uh, areas have five or around five of these alpha reactors each. And for a Tem, you can find Stellar Fragments. These are all just in one spot by the Sagan Mountain Road East Rigger device. You can find 10 of them floating in the sky and they look like little yellow crystals. For Kavaris, there is this mineral called Snull, which you can find in the Central Kavaris area. So just start off at the Mistra Woods North Reaker device and then make your way down the hill like using a floating board or just running around. You should be able to find 10 along the way leading up to the river that is there. And then for the Steer region, it's a little bit different. There are these invisible boxes in the Dryson plant zone where you can smash up to eight of them and get alpha reactors, but you can also get other minerals inside like arms refiners, infernium, as well as NEX cubes. And if you need any additional help finding these items, you can just go into your gear menu and then to mags and then active sonar target settings. And you should be able to check mark valuable items, which will give you a sonar ping directly to these different ones, then invisible boxes for the ones in Stia. And then for all of these, they respawn daily. So you can actually earn a little bit over 100,000 Masetta for just a few minutes of your time per day doing this. So it's actually not too bad for any player. But there is one more cash flow item, which is only given weekly though, and that is a beta reactor. So the only way to get this normally right now is by participating in the Alliance records. So you need to be part of an Alliance and then do some Alliance quests. So this is a competition between other Alliances on your ship to see whoever can do the most uh, alliance tasks, and then you can get different tiers of rewards. So on the top is gold, where you can get five beta reactors and 30 SG. In silver, there's three beta reactors and 20 SG. And then for bronze, that is only a single beta reactor. And then these beta reactors are 100,000 Masetta each. So it is actually a pretty nice uh, chunk of change every week if you can manage to get uh, the higher tiers. But even if you're just in a smaller alliance or don't really want to try that hard, you can just complete three alliance tasks to get the participation bronze rank for 100,000 every week. Or on the topic of alliance quests though, you actually do get these alliance badges every time you complete one of those different tasks. So you can actually exchange these for different items at the Alliance NPC using the second option here. You have this entire shop, but there's only one real good thing in here that you can actually exchange for Masetta or complete for Masetta as well. And that is this quest trigger Battle of Healthia Lake. So you can get a single runs worth uh, every week. So five triggers of this quest. And then you can either use them to do the Battle of Healthia Lake or the Dark Falls Aegis Urgent Quest, 
or you can actually sell the triggers themselves. So actually looking at it in the shop here, uh, let me try to find it. There it is. And then you do check item market price. And there it is, 300,000 Masetta for each trigger. So people are spending like 1.5 mil to do a single run of this quest. In my opinion, I think this is a ludicrous price, but people are paying for it, so why not take advantage of it? I do imagine as time goes on where there's more supply of these triggers and kind of just like the usefulness of the quest itself goes down, then these prices will start reaching the prices of the other triggers, like maybe 10,000, 20,000 Masetta uh, for each one. But this actually leads us into our next method of making money, and that is this quest itself, the Battle of Healthia Lake. So for this, there are only two ways to enter the quest. One is using those triggers just shown, and then going to the quest counter, and then going to the trigger quest section, activating the quest there with your friends or whatever else. But for the second method, it's kind of random throughout the day. So on the hour, every few hours, urgent quests show up, one per region. So there's a pool in each of these regions. So only Mining Rig Defense right now for Kaveris, then Nils Vera for Stia. Uh, for Ratem, there's the Mining Rig Defense for there. And then for Alia right now, that is a possible option for Halfia Lake, but it's showing Command All Suppression off. So I'm kind of like out of luck and have to wait another few hours for a chance of having this Halfia Lake one show up. That's why these triggers are so expensive. Once you manage to actually get into the quest itself, you're gonna be facing off against Dark Falls Aegis, like the part two of Dark Falls. And it's a pretty nice fight, but I don't wanna to get into too much detail, but for the most important part, the rewards, there's actually several things that you can sell. First off is the armor uh, here, the most notable one being Ajax armor. This is the new one, which is kind of like an in-between of a Claire and Ephidus armor. And for this, even right now, if it doesn't have a fixa on it, it's not really going to sell very well. But if you manage to get like any kind of fixa, it can sell for a few hundred thousand, or if you get higher ones, millions and millions of Masetta. And then it kind of goes the same for these other armors, except for the lower fixes just don't really sell very well either. So you're going to need to like get a fixa three or higher for these FTs and Ephidus armors if you want them to sell uh, well, like a few hundred thousand or maybe even a few million. But there's also cosmetics here, the Neos Astrian Almadi, which is the weapon camo uh, for a new weapon, which is part of this quest. And that can sell for a few mil for now, but I'm not sure how long that's going to last. Kind of depends on how much is uh, given out to the players. And there's also a Motion Dash Buoyant B and a Motion Glide Buoyant B. So those can sell for a few mil as well as what I've noticed on each of the different ships. And then there's also a couple accessories. Falls turret L and Falls turret R. I think for the accessories, they're a little bit lower than the other ones, but I'm not 100% sure. It might differ uh, from ship to ship. But then for uh, Augments, there isn't really anything notable here that's going to sell well. Uh, Aegis Soul, which is a new uh, Augment for this quest, uh, used to be like once this quest dropped, but after a couple of weeks even, because it's guaranteed given to you, the Aegis Soul 4s just don't really sell for much. Like I've seen that like two, 2,000 Masetta uh, right now. So it's like basically worth nothing uh, in comparison to some of these other things. But then for the weapons, uh, some notable ones are like the Rugged series for certain ones. You can get like a like maybe 100,000 or more, uh, depending on the popularity of the weapon. Uh, Gun Blaze as well. You can get like a few hundred thousand each like for any weapon. And then like a mill or more like on like a Tana or Rod maybe. But if you get a fix on the Gun Blaze, you can actually sell for more and more. But then there's the new weapon, Neos Astrian series, which is really good, but you are unable to list it on the personal shop. So there's no actually selling this. You can only keep it for yourself because it's account bound, but there's kind of a workaround to this. This workaround being the item trader NPC. So there's an Aegis Integra exchange at the bottom here where you can exchange unwanted Neos Astrian weapons for this Aegis Integra material. So you can either use this on Neos Astrians that you do want, but if you're trying to make some money, you can actually exchange it for certain augments that you can sell. So as mentioned before, the Aegis Soul 4 on its own doesn't really sell well right now. It's just like 2000 Masetta at this point, but for the better ones, it's actually all of these Dominas here. So these on their own aren't very good, uh, except for like the Steer Domino. You can actually use that right now because it is 3% potency, which is actually pretty nice. 
but these are actually a component to something else, and that is why these can be more expensive. They are part of one of the best augments that you can craft in the game at the item lab, which is the Hell Finale. So this requires a lot. So it takes 30 of those Aegis Soul 4s, and then 10 of each of those different dominas. So because of how good this capsule is, plus how much it takes, this is going around 3.5 million, at least on ship three. And for these components, they can be uh, good to sell as well, instead of just going straight making this. As mentioned before, the Asia Soul 4 doesn't really sell well because it's given so often, but these dominas can sell well. They're kind of different depending on each one though. So checking the personal shop here, just to reconfirm the how finale is like 3.5 or 3.4 million here. And then for the dominas though, let's just check how different they are. So for Ale Domino, this is probably going to be the cheapest one, or like you're not gonna get much money out of it because of how you can earn it. So right now it is like 10,000 Masetta, uh, maybe a little bit more depending on how things go, but you can get it from the Aegis Integra shop, just like the rest of those Dominos, but you can actually get it from a yellow trigger and get it once guaranteed every time. And that is doing the Aleo uh, rank two portal. It gives you a Ale Domino there. So it's actually not too bad to do this quest uh, for the Domino because you also get this gold sword plus 30 and also the gold armor plus 30, which can also sell for a little bit more money. And these runs, if you're like max level and have like decent gear, they can be like a minute or less each run. So you're just making like, I don't know, like 20,000, 30,000 uh, Masetta every time you do this, which isn't too bad. And usually with the yellow triggers, you already have a ton from doing like combat zones, maybe like a few hundred or so, at least that's what it is for me. But if you don't have those, I think the yellow triggers themselves cost like a thousand Masetta uh, for each one or like 2000, uh, depending on the ship. So like you're definitely going to make a profit each run that you're doing this. And then for Retem Domino, you're gonna see the same thing because you can actually get it through the same method, but just with the yellow portal, in the Retem region. So you just gotta do the rank two one, and then you get a Retem Domina every time, and then a gold sword plus 30 and a gold armor plus 30. So you can kind of just like pick and choose depending on which one. Uh, I would say the Alio is a shorter amount of time. This one just gives you a little bit more experience if you care for that kind of thing, like getting class cubes or trying to level up uh, other classes. But uh, both of them aren't like too bad for getting a little bit of profit, just doing some mindless uh, guaranteed Masetta grinding. Then for these other two Dominas, you might see something quite different. So as we search the price here for the Caveras one, 110,000. And then if we look at the Stia one as well while we're here, it's going to be probably something similar or even more. Well, uh, let's see here, 164,000, so even more. Uh, so for both of these, the only way to straight up get them is the Aegis Integra Exchange or by crafting them with other augments. So it's like multiple tiers to lead up to the HAL Finale or just these dominas themselves. So to check uh, for the Caveras one, we go back to the item lab here and look here. So we need Caveras notes A, B, C, D, as well as Blizzardium and Pentalite just to craft a single one of these Caveras dominas. And the same kind of is uh, for the Steer domina here. Uh, you need A, B, C, and D, but the materials are a little bit different, Infernium and Hexakite. So because these two cost so much in materials and don't have an easy route, like the first two dominas, that's why they're so much more expensive. But you don't actually have to craft these dominas either. You can actually just sell these notes themselves to other players instead. These notes are all gonna vary from ship to ship and based off supply. Uh, but in general, I, I think Caveras notes are pretty similar with each other because not many people do the Caveras content nowadays. Before the Steel one, I think note B and D are usually more expensive than A and C. But just to show the locations that you can get all of these from, there is a page on the Arcs Visit Phone website. Uh, so for Caveras note A is South Caveras, B is West. C is central, and then D is north. And then for the Stia notes, uh, for A, there is Dryson Plant, Outer Area 1, and Stia Outskirts. B is Medial Outer Area 1, and Stia Outskirts. And then for C, there's Dryson Plant, Outer Area 1, and D is Outer Area 1 and Outer Area 2. So if you noticed, with all of the Stia notes, you can actually get them in Outer Area 1, so if you're trying to farm for notes, that's probably your best bet to make some good money. However, when it comes to this outer area one spot, it gets kind of weird. 
So if you're trying to farm this with like other players, you want to split yourselves into two groups. One that's over here by the Ryuker device, the Palooza Ridge 2, and then one that's kind of over here where I have these two mineral kind of spots. But if the party is like uneven, like the room's uneven, uh, like five over here and six over here, then the one that has less players is going to get the enemies, and the one that has the six is going to get none. So you want to have an even amount of players in the room itself. So like six here and six over here. So that way both groups get play or get enemies to spawn. So unfortunately, because of that, it's better to do passworded rooms and it doesn't really work in public rooms if you're trying to set up a proper farm. Now though, let's move into an easier kind of brainless method and that's doing combat zones. So in particular, there's three ones that I have in mind. Uh, the first one is actually in Ritem which a lot of people are familiar with, and that is Ritem Aldoth. So here, there isn't really any good drops anymore, but it's one of the best areas for getting raw Masetta, or just like Masetta that drops from the enemies themselves. It's because it's just like so compact, and there's a lot of enemies that can be lower level if you set it to a lower rank, because the difference between Masetta uh, per kill isn't very huge. Uh, so if you set it to one that where you're basically killing the enemies instantly, uh, it's going to be better for you. And then also for an area like this, or pretty much like any combat zone, if you have auto cell or material storage, that's going to help you with farming immensely because you don't have to filter through your inventory uh, very often. And then also because this is like raw Masetta we're dealing with, uh, if you use Masetta boosters, that's going to help you out a lot as well, uh, increasing your efficiency uh, per kill. But then for the second spot, that will be the Dext base. So this is uh, the first combat zone in the Steer region where it has a whole bunch of Alters enemies. So this is also kind of like a more compact spot, but just not as good as Ratem Alnoth, but it can drop some notable things. One is the Rugged Weapon series, which still kind of sells well for a uh, like a pick-me-up for newer players, but it also can drop Alt Secreta 4 here, which is a very nice augment. So this can only drop from altars uh, at night time. So you need to go to a deck space at night to make this the most efficient farm here. And this Alt Secreta 4, uh, at least recently, has been jumping up in price because not as many people are getting it nowadays because they've been moving to elsewhere for farms. And as you can see here, it is selling for 74,000 Masetta each, at least on ship three. It does kind of look like it has been scalped recently. There's like a 35, 37, but then also 139 for this one person right here. So maybe this isn't like the actual price uh, for the other ships, but you should be able to sell it pretty nicely. I've seen it around like 50,000 uh, recently. But just as a side note real quick, you can also get Alt Secreta 4 for essentially free or through just other materials. That's going to the item trader again, but this time I'm going to item exchange Stia. Then you just scroll down a little bit into the capsules. There's Alt Secreta 4 right there uh, for one to one with the Infernium uh, mineral we talked about earlier. And you get 10 per week. Uh, for these other capsules in here, they aren't uh, worth anything, these doables. So you don't really want to worry about them and instead get this Alt Secreta 4. But going back to the combat zones, there is one more that I wanted to mention. And that is the Nusen plant in the Stia region. So for this, there are some more drops that you can get, and it's also a pretty compact area. It's just of higher level. But for the drops, there are a couple things to look out for. First off is the Gunblaze Weapon Series, just like I mentioned with Dark Falls Aegis. Uh, so for these, they vary in price from weapon to weapon. As you can see here with the more popular one, uh, you can get like 650k or more depending on the fixa. But if we look at something that's like less popular, let's just look at a wand. For example, uh, it's going to be way lower. So it's kind of like a, a luck thing uh, there. And there are a few cosmetics that you can get out of the Nusen plant. These three, though, are just basically not worth anything. Like the Closia Almaty CV is only at 5,000. Uh, the Clothis one is only also at 5,000. The Gunblaze, a little bit more, but still pretty low. But there is one in particular that's pretty rare that can sell for a ton, and that is the Curio Dragon Slayer. So for this, at least on ship three, uh, there's only two in the shop and it's selling for 45 million. So you can make bank off this thing. Like I said, it is insanely rare. It only drops from one boss in the Nusen plant and that's it. It's called the Quartz Skoden in uh, NGS. It's kind of like a boss reminiscent from base PSO2 and there's a chance it can drop from that, but you know, good luck uh, trying to get it. 
while you're trying to get that Curio Dragon Slayer, there's a couple more things that uh, you might want to look out for. One is the Arms Refiner 2. So this is a material that can drop there that allows you to limit break 7 and 8 star gear to plus 60. But this material itself is not tradable in the shop. But you can apply it to that said gear and sell that gear itself, kind of like adding value to it uh, by limit breaking it. Uh, because other people might not want to farm for this arms refiner too, or just don't feel like, I don't know, going through the process. Uh, but with these, do keep in mind that limit breaking itself does cost Masetta. So when you go here and try to limit break something like this Clompus Katana plus 50, it does cost 180,000 on top of using these different arms refiners. So just keep that in mind for how much value you want to like try to add to these weapons because if it's not going to sell above this margin then it's just not worth doing and then for the final thing with the noose implant that i wanted to talk about is that it seems like a particular enemy although not exclusive seems to spawn a lot there and that is captains some of you may be familiar with them you just get a chance to spawn them with trials and then you just kind of smash them open uh they're not too hard to kill and they can give you some pretty nice stuff masteries one two three and four particularly three and four are nice to sell and then you can also get uh the gigas capsules gigas uh, one two and three as well as dreadkeeper one two and three and just like some other capsules along with that so because of all of those coming out of that uh you can make some pretty nice money here because these captains seem to spawn more often but now let's move into the next money-making method, and that is killing Stia veterans or dread enemies. So these are particular bosses dotted around the different exploration zones in the Stia region uh, that are just a little bit harder to kill than the ones in like a combat zone, for instance. Uh, these can be seen with a green icon on your minimap, and they also spawn in particular locations. If you would like those, I do have a video exactly on that that I'll link in the upper right. But for these enemies, they can drop Dreadkeeper capsules, particularly 2, 3, and 4 in the Steer region. Of course, 4 being the most valuable. Uh, and also, if you face an Alters boss, like the one in front of me, they can drop Alter Credit 4 as well uh, during the nighttime. Once killed, though, they take a few minutes to spawn, like four or five minutes. But there are usually like three veterans in the same kind of zone. So you can kind of make a loop around. Uh, and by the time you get to the boss that you killed initially, it should be uh, respawned. Just to check the value of this dread capsule, though, you can see here on chip three, 315,000 Masetas. So that's actually pretty nice. And if you can get Alts of Credit 4s on top of that, you can get around like a 400,000 Maseta on a single kill if you're lucky. But just keep in mind, at least at the time that I drop this video, next week there will be a giant mutants event, which will encourage people to kill more dread enemies. So the price of this dread four might go down because there might be more of a supply, at least temporarily. Now, though, let's move on to the final money making method that I have for you guys today, and that is doing purple triggers or purple battle dia. So these are the different boss rush quests uh, in each of the different regions uh, marked by the different portals. And... For these, they can give you Gigas capsules because you're facing gigantic enemies. So in here, uh, you can get Gigas 4s, which are really nice. They can sell for like 200,000 or 150,000, depending on if you have like precision, technique, or the might version. And then you can also get a Claire armor in the Stia version. Uh, for that, just like the rest of the armors, if it doesn't have a fixa, it's only gonna be worth like a thousand Masetta. But if you do get a high fixa, especially on this one, because it is the highest DPS. Uh, armor that we have currently it's going to be worth millions to certain people and for the cosmetics though in this dia battle dia they're not really worth very much because they're so common versus the other uh purple battle dias and i almost kind of recommend doing these other ones because of that and you can still get the gigas fours here plus they're lower level so they're easier to do and you can run them faster so i'd almost recommend doing whichever one you favor more between the alio retem various ones and kind of almost skip the steel one unless if you're hurting for like infernium for instance because this is a great way to get guaranteed infernium for the steer domina or getting those all secreta fours out of that uh item exchange 
that was all the methods I have for you guys today. If you want to stick around, though, I do have a few predictions on what I think will happen to the economy in NGS in the next few months. So first off is the crafting of tier four capsules, because last year we saw this happen with tier three capsules. So I expect this to happen for those in the next few weeks or at least the next couple months, kind of rolling out until June with the ultra NGS update. So we might see it with like the stat fours, gigas fours and dread fours, for instance, uh, or more capsules like alt secreta four uh, and so on and so forth. Then up next, we have the seasonal event freebies. So what I mean by this is that next month we're getting a seasonal event, the spring event. And with that, there's usually some sort of uh, like free capsule that you can pretty much get with seasonal points or whatever. Uh, so like mastery fours, gigas fours or ultra credit fours, whatever they decide to hand out. Uh, it's probably gonna affect the economy by lowering those capsules and making them cheaper. So you won't be able to make as much money off of it if you're trying to farm for those different things. Uh, I'm not sure what exactly that they would hand out in terms of that. Uh, they could even hand out weapons and armor, which those might be on par with what we have or even better for some reason. Uh, so that'll affect the market as a whole. Uh, but I think it's more just going to be capsules instead of necessarily equipment that's going to matter for the seasonal event. Uh, for March as well, there is the Geolab Rank 2. And with that, there's probably going to be either capsules and or gear so with the capsules i'm expecting like super twos which are probably going to be a slightly better like stat for so like 3.25 percent or 3.5 percent capsule uh something that's just a little bit higher so it encourages you to do this new uh rank two for geolab uh hopefully this quest is good but that doesn't exactly matter uh if the rewards are good uh, so, but also for this, if there is gear attached and people want to upgrade it, that's going to affect everything as a whole as well. But then in April, there's going to be a new class, the Gunblade class. It hasn't been revealed quite yet what the name is or how it's going to work. But with that, people are going to want to make armor for it. People are going to try to earn the weapons, uh, for this, since it's a completely new weapon type, uh, with the Gunblade. So if you farm immediately, uh, when this class drops, you're going to make a lot of money trying to sell high-end uh, gun blades, as well as the augment market's probably just going to get shot, as a whole bunch of people are going to try to augment these gun blade weapons as well. And then, for the final thing, tier 5 capsules, possibly, or newer capsules in general, when it comes to the NGS Ultra updates, when we're getting that level increase, and uh, just a giant update in general, so I expect something along the lines of that during that time or maybe even new capsules when chapter five drops, which is in May. Uh, but that's pretty much everything that I think is going to affect it, uh, the economy in some major way. I think everything else in between is mainly just like limited time quest stuff or nothing like too crazy. Uh, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and you make a lot of money. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.